So this is a section of the Florida Trail that I've attempted many times. It's normally too wet to travel and also there are supposedly panthers back in this section. This is between 314 and 40. So I'm going to attempt to hike this today. I kind of hate leaving the, uh, the wheels right by the road here but as you can see there's no parking. Now as you come down 314 it's awful hard to see this entrance to the Florida Trail. Uh, you, you'd have, have to come from this direction and then look for the orange marker on the pole coming from that direction. Uh, that's coming from uh, 35 uh, past the Marshall Swamp entrance to right here. But uh, so let's, uh, let's see if we can get it in today. We'll find out. So I want to show you the beginning of the trail. I mean, this is, uh, you know, we start out on this little bridge and uh, I'm hoping, I, I would assume the trail crews have been back in here. Now I do have my bear spray with me today. Because I'm going to tell you, this is a scary portion. I mean, even though, you know, this is kind of a built-up area, but to me, this is a scary portion of the Florida Trail because, you know, anything can be lurking in these uh, these weeds because it's, I've only gotten up in here a certain ways, but you can see how tight this is. And, uh, you know, if something's lurking on the side there, <laughs> you're not going to, you're not going to see it till it's too late. That's for Doug and Shear. So I got the got the walking stick to poke it with and the bear spray to hit it with and uh, hopefully we'll get this hike in I've been trying to get this for years so let's see what happens looks like it's in pretty good shape uh, it is certainly a beautiful portion of the Florida Trail you know if you ever want to try try it uh, like I said uh, there's it's very rare that you can get this trail in because of the you know it's uh, it's got some wet areas to, to get through you know I guess if you had boots on you wouldn't have a problem Plus, it's, uh, it's definitely not well maintained most of the year. Uh, I guess this time of the year, they've, uh, the trail crews have been through at some point. So I'm glad that we're finally going to get this in. But you can see, uh, we're just getting started. It's, uh, it's, you're hiking through some real forest here, man. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is the, uh, well, I mean, I don't know if this is part of the Akala National Forest down here. Or what this would be uh, it's uh, like I said it goes between 314 and 40 and hopefully we'll get all the way to 40 today and that would uh, knock out this portion of the Florida Trail as you know my goal is to hike all 1400 miles of the Florida Trail but uh, boy look at this huh uh, do you feel like you're in Florida at this point <laughs> I mean, crazy huh all right so this is a good sign because uh, I believe this is the portion where you know if you're gonna hike it it's it's this is where it's really wet and uh getting through here that's good but uh well, look at those ferns man you know sometimes we come back here and maybe get a couple of these for my home you know i don't think it's gonna hurt anything uh, to dig up a few but man i mean you can see what i'm talking about i mean this is Welcome to the jungle! Yeah, welcome to the jungle, huh? That's exactly what it feels like hiking this portion of the Florida Trail. So I, and I, I'm sure for sure we won't see anybody, but I, boy, give the trail crews credit, man. It's well marked, and uh, it looks like it's, it's definitely been cut in. I've, I've been back here where you couldn't even hike this thing. So this is, uh, this is encouraging. I think we may get this in. So I finally knock out this portion of the Florida Trail. Let's just hope we don't encounter any beasties. And I don't know if there's any truth to that rumor that there's panthers in here. But uh, I don't know what bear spray would do to a panther. It should, should mess them up assuming you get it. I mean, you know, they're hunters, man. They could pounce on you before you get your bear spray out. And then uh, good luck getting it, huh? All right. Boy, I tell you, it's tricky footing on this trail. Definitely want your hikers. And I can't imagine the amount of work it took to cut this in. I mean, look at this. This is the wildest portion of the Florida Trail that I have done, you know, as far as just uh, really hiking through the foliage. I mean, different look here, though. I wanted to get it for you. Kind of looking out through the pine trees. Wonder how wonder how old this forest is you know I can't imagine I, they must have logged it at some point because these trees they don't look that old to me I mean they're old obviously but I mean you know not 
not in relation to some of the pine trees that you see like at the Sunny Hill Restoration Area or, or other places that I've hiked. I just can't believe we're actually going to get this hike in. I, I have tried so many times and just been stymied and uh, hats off to the trail crew. Boy, I tell you, it's a hot day too. I, it's been about uh, 90, 90 some degrees here on March, uh, what was it, March 25th, I think, 2023. So, uh, but still a beautiful day. I, I don't think we're gonna dehydrate or anything like that. Uh, like I said, it's, it should be, uh, I don't know, maybe a four hour hike, I'm guessing, because I'm moving so slow. You can see it's kind of tricky footing. The trail slopes, lots of roots. Uh, boy, I tell you, how in the hell they cut this in? That's crazy, isn't it? So here's something, uh, looks like a fire break or a service road. I guess you could come in and just hike this if you wanted to. But anyway, we're going to continue on the trail. It's uh, a lot more of the same, you know, more or less. Uh, I'm getting less and less car nose, so we're getting way back in here. Boy, you can see the... Uh, damn, this is the best I've ever seen this cut in. That's amazing. Boy, if you really... I mean, this would be a fantastic hike uh, with the width it cut in like this. Um, Man, I, I, you know, I'm so glad that I stopped and, 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 and I'm hiking this portion of the trail. This is going to be awesome. Let's take a look around. Look at what I'm seeing. Man, the only thing, I, I, I did run into a spider back there. <laughs> so, so you can tell not many people know this portion exists to the Florida Trail, but uh, let's just keep on going. I just wanted to get just another clip here. Look at this, man. It's like walking through one of those mazes, you know, <laughs> where they cut it in through the bushes. And uh, man, this is tight. This is crazy. I, 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 I've hiked a hell of a lot of trails around here in central Florida, but this one is unique among, or this section of the Florida Trail is unique among all of the portions of the Florida Trail that I've hiked. You know, this is a must if you, uh, if you, not too worried about panthers or bears or well I, I they always tell me that there's a gator within 1,000 feet or something here in Florida but I don't know I haven't seen any water around so who knows I'm sure they're in here somewhere you know that's the thing you know something could be lurking well there's another little kind of like service road cut in over there so okay boy oh I am feeling that heat just a little bit so we're just getting more of the same, but I'm coming up on a left-hand turn. So that's uh, a little different. That wasn't much of a left turn. I I guess it's good that they, they marked it, but uh, I don't see how you can, <laughs> you can get off of this trail. I mean, what are you going to do? Hike through that or hike through that? I don't see, I don't, I don't see how you could, but... Uh, Wow, hell of a lot of work to cut this in. Holy moly. I can't imagine what the, what they used. Huh. Amazing. Yeah, I was getting a little different look here, and I just was thinking, you know, how little of the year that you'd be able to hike this, because I can't imagine. I'll bet the mosquitoes and the bugs on this section of the Florida Trail any other time of the year would just be horrendous you know this is this might be worse than marshall swamp maybe i don't know but uh it would be uh this would this would be like i said it's not cut in in the summertime anyway uh because if this does grow up fast uh here in florida and uh you know like i said uh, i guess march maybe february january would be the time to try to hike this uh and I don't think you could do it if you'd had a rainstorm. Look at here. Boy, I cut the video on at just the right time. We're coming out to a different look, finally. Finally, a little bit of kind of, you can see out over the, back into the forest. Woo, after coming through that. All right. Well, I feel a little more uh, safe here because <laughs> you can kind of see what's, uh, what's on the side of you. Plus, it's beautiful looking out, peering into the forest. You're not hearing any car noise now, are you? 
well, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't hear nothing. Yeah, we, we are back here. Woohoo! Boy, enjoying this hike. Oh, that breeze. Oh my God. I was getting a little flushed. I was thinking maybe I'm going to have to turn back and not get this portion of the trail in. But I uh, might not ever get this opportunity ever again. So I've got to keep going, keep pushing. But that breeze, that breeze will keep me, keep me moving. That feels good. So I wanted to get another view of the trail as we move along. Kind of more of the same, but uh, truly an amazing section. I keep saying that over and over again at the Florida Trail. This is, uh, this is, I tell you, you know you're in Florida hiking this trail. This is something else. It's uh, pretty cool. All right. So this is kind of a neat look. A uh, little bit of a transition, kind of kind of straightening out for a ways as you peer down the, uh, the trail. And it's uh, a little bit easier hiking through here. You kind of just hiking through grass and pine needles. I can definitely start making some time. Uh, you know, it's not winding around uh, with roots and everything to trip you up. So I like it. It's a good transition. Let's see where we're going. So I'm obviously coming up on 40. So we have knocked out this portion of the Florida Trail. I'm going to cross over 40 and uh, let's see what the trail looks like on the other side. Because that's another section of the Florida Trail that I have yet to hike. Is uh, there's a you can't park on 40. I mean, obviously, but uh, on the other side, there's a there's some roads right off of uh, 314, and uh, they cross over the Florida Trail. And so maybe, uh, well, a, a video further down, we'll hike uh, from 40 or from uh, whatever that road is to over to 40 and back, and that'll knock out that section of the Florida Trail. So uh, we're kind of working our way through the easy, well I call these easy, easy parts uh, and then I'll have to get back to where we get way up into the Ocala National Forest and I've only done that one time. Look, something got eaten right there. And nothing but feathers left there. But uh, and that, uh, that's when I got all the wood ticks and, and uh, man, I, I hiked a long ways that day. That was back before I broke my neck and uh, I it's uh it's it's tough getting way deep into the Ocala National Forest but I think we're getting in shape and uh I'm going to definitely do some research on how to keep the wood ticks off cuz we're getting to that time well they said the year round up in the Ocala National Forest you can get the wood ticks but I'm sure that you know as the as the months progress they get worse and worse and worse so anyway so let's see what the trail looks like on the other side of 40 here all right, I was wrong. I thought I was coming up on 40, but the trail made a right-hand turn. I don't know how long we're going to hike, because you can hear the car noise right over there, so maybe this is just going to hike next to 40 for a while. Uh, well, I was getting kind of excited, because I, I actually am looking forward to getting home, kicking the feet up, and just uh, relaxing for a while. I've been doing a lot of, a lot of stuff outdoors this week working on my garden like i said plant a garden plant a garden plant a garden plant a garden hard times are ahead people but uh, anyway so this is so we'll see uh, how long it hikes along 40 here this is uh, an unexpected turn to say it as i hike along on this right hand turn look at this this is kind of cool isn't it See what I mean though, this trail, <laughs> it'll get overgrown for sure. I mean, you can tell, I, I can't believe they were able to cut all this out. I keep actually getting vines on my legs, just uh, marching along with them, thinking, well, it'll eventually come off. But look, uh, look at here. Oh, well, there's the Florida South Trail sign. So we should be crossing 40 here in just a second. So this is rather strange. So we came out, got a muddy ditch here to get across, and I guess there's some sort of neighborhood. Well, where's the trail going? I don't think it's going that way. It's got to be this way. I'm surprised I don't see any markings. And so we're going to make a left. It's got to be 40 right there. 
and then I should see well okay no it's moving to the right here okay damn it's turning into a lot longer hike than what I wanted for the day <laughs> but uh, I was we got to get to 40 I mean at this point boy I was getting excited I thought we were coming to the end all right okay let's just keep going so even though you can hear all the car noise this is a different look huh looking kind of swampy now here's another little bridge boy I got the video on at just the right time so yeah here's that's what I was saying there's a creek or a swampy area right there boy <clears throat> Good thing they put this bridge in. So this is a different, uh, different look of the trail. Oh, here we go. So yeah, see what I'm talking about? This is what this portion of the trail is really a muddy mess. Okay, I'm gonna get through here. Uh, that's why I'm glad to get it in today. I might not, you know, after rain, you're not gonna be able to do it without boots. Well, I don't know. I may have to turn back. This is really, uh, really swampy now. You know, I, I know the Florida Trail people are busy, but really what they need to do is just throw down some boards in here. I don't even think I can get through here. Dag nabbit. Well, maybe we can go to the left here. This is slow going. Man. If I could get, I'm just, I'm hoping if we just get past this one area, that maybe, maybe, just maybe, We'll get back into some sort of trail. Man, this is really treacherous through here. Wow. Okay, well, so far so good. Oh man, as you can see, look at that. I am sinking. Gosh dang it. Ah. I say I'm, th I'm thinking if I get past this spot right here. Well, I'm gonna be a muddy mess when I get home. All right, maybe that's it. Maybe we got through the swamp. If I see any more of that, I'm turning back. I mean, I'm not gonna just hike through mud and... Well, I keep thinking, you know, because it look, it's, look, it's dry just up there. Oh man, this is bad. Let's see, gosh dang it. All right, let's, uh, if I run into any more, I'm turning back. I, I just don't, uh, this isn't fun hiking to me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Maybe we're drying out. Maybe we're drying out. Okay, all right. Or maybe not. Yeah, that's it, folks. I'm going to turn this thing back. Well, okay, this isn't as bad as what we've been through. Yeah, I think it... They'd have to come in and lay in some boards uh, for people, the average person, to be able to hike this. I don't know if I can stay to the left here. <clears throat> okay, looks like it might dry out again. God, I dread going back through that. Okay, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe we've gotten through the mud. All right, got my fingers crossed. Let's keep going. So, I, you know what I figure I'll do? is we'll take this all the way up to 40 and rather than go back through that muddy swamp well uh, I'll just hike down 40 and hit that road and then uh, hit, and pick the Florida Trail back up right there so that'd be a good way to do it uh, if you're hiking you want to bypass this portion of the trail you could just take that road up to 40 and hike down it now I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on the trail before it, it, it's got to make a left hand turn here at some point to get up to 40 but that'll be uh that'll be a good hike back because uh that'll speed things up for me to get back to my motorcycle and to my air-conditioned house with some ice water and a remote in my hand and a tv with the feet propped up i am looking forward to that Woohoo! you know as we hike along the thing that baffles me is why just run the trail next to uh, 40? Uh, I guess, you know, maybe some, this is private land. It looks like there's some houses off to my right. And, you know, they maybe they just own this section. 
of the uh, of the forest or the, the county does Marion County. Uh, I don't know because it seems uh, you had that that you know that section where we were in the deep deep forest, uh, which we're going to hike back through. And uh, why not just cut the trail to the right there rather than just kind of running along uh, 40 with all the car noise? You know, kind of takes the uh, the ambiance out of the trail here and here in the cars right next to you. But anyway, that's all right. I, you know, like I said, maybe this, see that looks like a house or a trailer right over there. So maybe that's the reason why that's all uh, private land. Who knows? All right, I just came out of that, and we're crossing another road here. And the trail is going to continue on, but like I said, it's a hot day. I'm going to call it right here. Someday we'll come back and uh, hike this, probably along with the uh, section across 40. But let's get the uh, let's get the road that we're on because this is where you'd have to park right here. I don't know if you could park a car here, but a motorcycle would be be easy to do. Let me get up here and see what this intersection is. Hold on. So this is the Northeast 118th Avenue Road. I was going to look down and see if I can see where the Florida Trail comes out. Now, so you could be going a long ways just hiking along 40 here before it crosses and uh, heads over into the forest over here. Okay, so that's it uh, for the video. Uh, unless I see something unique on the way back. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to hike along 40 back down to that road. And, uh, and then just uh, take the trail on back. You know, maybe we'll get one more clip. Uh, of course, I got to make uh, my final clip. But it's, well, I guess maybe this will probably be the final clip. It's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida. And the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious. You know, one observation. It's astounding. Back in 2017 when I moved here, there was hardly any traffic on this road. Whole damn world's moving to Florida. This is crazy. So, you know, I hadn't thought about it, but I guess if you wanted to bypass that muddy area, you could just hike up here to 40. That was Piney Path Road where we got you know, onto that section running by 40, Northeast 115th Avenue. Anyway, I'll be glad to get back on the trail, get away from all this car noise. So we'll get another clip when we get on the trail. I had another thought in my head. Well, I wanted to wait till I got away from all the car noise on the way back here. I kind of liked this little turn here. So I figured I'd cut the video on right here. You know, two things. I tell you what, it's been a, been a great day. I just got a call from the Lake County substation <laughs> in, in Astor, Florida. I have no freaking idea where that is. But uh, they got my wallet. I must have dropped it when I got out of the car to hike the yearling trail on Thursday. Which, by the way, that's a video. Uh, if you want to get back, uh, I'm going to post that one before this one. So definitely check out that video. And I uh, just think, I wonder, boy, I must have just fallen out of the car. I was getting, you know, I'm sure when I was getting my stuff out, I flipped it out the door and didn't see it hit the ground. Thank God an honest person found it, huh? Holy moly, what luck. What amazing luck. But anyway, the uh, the other thing I was thinking about, you know, if I were to have a heart attack or get bit by a snake <laughs> or, uh, or attacked by a panther, you know, and even let's say that I um, I survived it, how in the hell would they come back here to get you? You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> you know, you can't. I don't even think a four wheeler could go down this. I guess you could uh, probably take a uh, a motorcycle of some sort, but. Or a dirt bike. Yeah, a dirt bike could definitely do it. But then how would you get the person out? You know, if they're injured, well, maybe they're not injured so bad they couldn't sit, sit on the dirt bike or maybe just strap them to you some kind of way. I guess that'd be the only way I could think of you get somebody out or a helicopter. Anyway, this is something that popped in my head as I'm going back here. But I just had to give you the good news. The wallet has been found. I don't know how it fell out of the car, but... At least a ranger found it, thank God. Peace out and stay free.